there's a, the MMOD that you can track and you can, you can get out of the way of. And normally that's around 10 centimeters or so. The, um, the military uh, will, will track pieces. And if there's a piece that they see is coming, uh, the, they, are, they are able to, um, it's called a COLA, which stands for collision avoidance. They can move the, the space station out of the way. So those pieces really, they'll do the most damage because they're the biggest, but because we can see them coming, they're not really the concern. The concern is the pieces that are smaller than what can be tracked, but are still large enough to do damage. And for that, we have to use the different orbital debris models that will we'll try to predict um, how many of these pieces are out there, what the probability of, of impact is, uh, and then we need to predict what will happen when, when those pieces impact. And the, the space station has, has MMOD shielding that has been sized to protect against these, these pieces that are big enough to do damage but below the threshold of what we can see. And um, the, they've, as we've gone through the, the experience and learning more about MMOD, um, more shielding has been put on sensitive parts of the of the space station. They were, have identified some modules that f either because they're maybe sticking out a little bit more or they weren't shielded uh, as well as other parts. Uh, we've been able to go up and add shielding to the to the ISS. Interesting, the highest risk for ISS as far as the, the module or piece of ISS are the, the Russian Soyuz and the progress modules. Those have the least amount of, of shielding. So when those are docked to the ISS, they become part of the ISS. And those two, um, those two capsules really drive the risk when they're, when they're docked to the risk, to the, to the ISS. The, the permanent pieces of the ISS are pretty well shielded. So it would take a, a, a fairly substantial piece of, uh, of debris to, to, to puncture the ISS.